Wow, it's very strange. In the neighborhood, who you gonna call? Not the media. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we saw this video off correctly. So remember this off season when the media was trying to spin this narrative that players weren't at Bengals process because it was all collapsing. The Bengals were falling down. Things were going chicken little. The sky is falling. Well, we got some information about our boy Trent Brown. Why he wasn't at OTAs and minicamp. Well, OTAs actually. Why wasn't OTAs at first? Like, what was going on? Well, as he says right here, the only reason I wasn't there is I had a few family emergencies. We had to stay back home, according to Jay Morrison of Pro Football Network. But it was finally clear enough for me to come out and be back with the team. What? You're telling me? Hold up. You're telling me that there's actually legitimate reason? It's not just because Trent Brown hates us or Jamar Chase hates us? Or, well, T. Higgins hasn't signed the franchise tag. But, like, everyone else hates us and the sky's falling? Yeah, no, this is literally all it was. He had family emergencies, which every player has their own reason why they might not be at OTAs or mini camp or whatever, right? Just kind of how it works. Um, now, obviously, again, T. Higgins' situation, he hadn't signed his franchise tag. He can't go to rookie minicamp. Or well, not rookie minicamp. Yeah, I don't think he'd go with that either. But he can't go to OTAs or minicamp right now, mandatory minicamp, because he, again, hasn't signed his franchise tag. He's technically not a member of the Bengals until he signs his franchise tag, which he has to by July 16th. July 15th, but technically by July 16th, he also has to. Um, or else he will get heavily fined. So he needs to, you know, sign it before he can actually show up to minicamp and all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, for Jamar Chase, Jamar Chase has showed up already. He's there. So now Chase is there. Trent Brown is there. We didn't get really a reason why Chase wasn't there. Again, I can only assume it has to do with his offseason workout plan. And not that the chicken little sky is falling and we need to panic like crazy. I mean, it's just a million different narratives. I heard this offseason of why our guys aren't going to be at rookie training camp and mini camp. I mean, the speak literally made a whole entire episode about how Chase is not there. T is not there. This clearly shows that, you know, the Bengals are not going to have the two best receivers. And if they don't have the two best receivers, then... Joe Burrow is not going to be good this season because he has to throw the ball to the other receivers. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. And, you know, shout out. Shout out to the media. Shout out to Speak. Shout out to all these different services or, I guess, networks, whatever you want to call them. I call them clown shows. Shout out to all of them. Because in the end, they're going to just make this Super Bowl win this year better and better and better. Just a tiny bit better. I can't wait. Because the change up, I'm going to tell you right now, right? This is why I can't wait for this. We're going to win the Super Bowl. And the change up is going to be real. You're going to see all these sir, all these networks. Oh yeah, we were, we've been saying since the very beginning. That Joe Burrow is better than Patrick Holmes. And Joe Burrow is so good. And he's the best quarterback of all time. The changeup is real. I promise you. Right now they want to kick us while they're down. But the second we get up. They're going to want to join. All of them are going to want to join. And be a part of this. It's going to be beautiful. Guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys next one. He had family emergencies. Peace out.